I'm Scott Amiller. It's the 5th of August, 2024. It's Monday. And, uh, you know, after a relatively relaxing weekend, today was actually pretty relaxing as well. We were able to get some time to just chill. I'd spent, uh, I mean, it's a work day, so I worked normally uh, this morning. Today is my first day with my new office chair. I set it up last night, so I got to spend the whole day in it today. And honestly, it's pretty nice. I'm very happy. The lack of arms, the ability to breathe, it's a life changer. It's little things. You know, I just got a new keyboard that is so much better than my old one. I just got this new chair that is so much better than my old one. I'm about to get a new mouse that is so much better than my old one, I hope. And those little things, when you spend your time working in an office and you're at a desk nearly all day and doing these little things with the equipment that you use all day long really matter. It's an odd spot where I think too many people don't make a big enough investment, especially when you work at home. Uh, you have a tendency to be like, well, I don't want to spend my money on that. But the reality is, is these are things that really impact your life in a lot of cases. And you could make a huge difference if you just upgraded them. And we're not talking a huge amount of money. Yes, I spent $90 on a keyboard instead of 20 but it's a mechanical keyboard. Every time I hit a key, it sounds good. It feels good. It looks good. It makes me happy. My kids come into my office and they're like, whoa, check out your new keyboard. That is so cool. They're like, are those emoji keys? Can you swap out the keys? What different color combinations are there? And they're going on Logitech's website and looking at the different ones. It's the Logitech Pop series, in case you're wondering. Also, their Pebble series looks really cool. Those are the ones that I really like. And it, But the Pops, they're fully mechanical. The kids are just like, what? Totally worth it. Uh, and, and like, cool. But the Pebbles are half the price. So my my set would be about 120. Those are about 60 for a keyboard and mouse set uh, and, and come in both Windows and Mac configuration. So definitely something to check out. But uh, uh, so so that's all very good. I, I did a lot of video editing today, not a lot of recording, but a lot of editing. And uh, then um, uh, I took care of making lunch for the kids. Dominica cooked dinner tonight. Late tonight, uh, Luciana and I made chocolate pudding together. However, we used milk that had expired in April, uh, and which actually wasn't the worst thing, but it separated and it's already low on cream. And so it was really runny, but we did make chocolate pudding and, and that was kind of fun. And Lisa and I watched a bit of Third Rock from the Sun this evening. We're working our way through the second season now. Uh, it's always been a show that I really, really like, but I haven't seen it in quite a long time. And uh, Lisa is loving it. She's always like sitcoms and she and I have always watched sitcoms together. Uh, and we got uh, a bit of time both watching that and just hanging out uh, together. And then of course, uh, Keeping up on my Duolingo, I'm on a nearly 1,600 day streak at this point, uh, and the kids and I are on several hundred days of doing um, the New York uh, crosswords or whatever, the New York Times puzzles of Wordle and connections we do every single night, never miss that. Uh, and I've gotten really good. Tonight we got it on the second guess. We're often second or third guess getting it these days, at least on on Wordle, so uh, that's been a big thing for us. But for the most part, today's pretty chill. We did price out getting a big glass case for Luchana. Uh, to be able to put her Legos in. Our plan is to get a big glass case, put it in, uh, the, in the, the living room and have all of her Legos there on display because currently they take up a ton of space in her bedroom and make it very difficult for her to do anything. And people keep knocking them on the floor. The cat knocks them on the floor. The cleaner knocks them on the floor. Always tough. Um, our temporary cleaner, uh, currently we have a cleaner who comes in like three times a week and, and she's great. We like her, but uh, other than knocking the Legos on the floor and throwing random things out a lot, uh, but she's been really good. Um, but we have a full-time uh, cleaner that uh, used to work with us previously. She's just in the process of working through uh, her last uh, notice at her current job. She manages one of the hotels uh, in town. She is coming to manage our household, uh, and she will be with us in 10 days. We're looking forward to that. She's going to make it a lot easier to, be able to leave the dogs behind and everything, because our current cleaner is just half days, three days a week, uh, which is not a lot. Definitely a struggle for us. We need a lot. We really do. Now, it's not just cleaning but it's it's laundry for everybody it's cleaning it's organizing the house it's doing the dishes and when possible cooking and organizing some things sometimes uh, like even our, our temporary cleaner went out and put in a bunch of time organizing the bodega taking out dead rats, kicking out live rats, all kinds of things, just because there's spaces in the house we don't go to. We have a lot of space. Uh, and sometimes you're not out there, right? You just lock it up and it's just where you store unimportant things that can be kind of out in the weather. It's a, it's a building that's locked, but it's not air conditioned or anything. So it's got bats to fly in and out. So it's mostly like empty luggage, old boxes for things, just the big bulky things that don't really matter. Anything that's expensive is kept in the house, of course. But uh, so 
easily can go months without anybody going in there and then you know something's been living in there and you have a bit of a mess uh coming up uh later this week we're taking the new house uh across town that should be very good give us more capacity here in leon we just have so many people always here doing things we need lots and lots and lots of space uh and when you get a good deal you you take it we're actually getting the house from the same person we have the apartment from so one payment for everything uh, makes life really easy and they're basically next door so they're able to run back and forth i'm really hoping you're going to be able to share internet they're that close uh, that they can they can yell to each other. So uh, hopefully, hopefully everything goes well with that. Um, coming up this weekend, we have uh, our lawyer's birthday party. Uh, Going to be celebrating her birthday. We have so many birthdays right all in a row uh, this month. And uh, got several episodes recorded, uploaded, just a ton of editing done. And that was pretty much my day. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>